For the last few weeks, I gave up coffee and nootropics and switched to drinking this mushroom coffee alternative. I wanted to see if a popular mushroom drink could really replace my regular coffee. Now what happened completely surprised me. Hi friends and welcome to Your Inception's YouTube channel. My name is Greg Gostinkar and on this channel we are on the hunt for the best products, nootropics and supplements to boost brain performance. If that interests you, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. If you are new to mushroom drinks or maybe you've heard of mushroom coffee, keep watching because this video could really make a positive change in your life. But first, let's explore what exactly is a mushroom drink and why is everyone into it nowadays? Mushroom drink, also known as mushroom coffee or tea, is a drink that usually contains cacao as a base or coffee or tea, but with powerful functional mushrooms and sometimes adaptogenic herbs. These add extra benefits to your mushroom experience without the downsides like feeling jittery, stressed, anxious or having trouble sleeping. Plus, certain mushrooms promote cognition and energy while helping deal with mental fatigue. Now, at first thought, mushroom drink sounds like an amazing coffee alternative, doesn't it? But hold on a moment, not every mushroom drink is equally effective. It might be quite a bit pricey. And what about its taste? We are diving into all of this in the video. And by the end, I'll give you my final thoughts on mushroom drinks, so stay tuned. By the way, have you ever tried drinking a mushroom coffee? How did you like it? Let me know in the comment section below. So one big reason many folks cut back on coffee is because over time they can become pretty dependent on it. Starting the day without that classic cup becomes a challenge. Now honestly, I totally get it, I was in the same boat. But then I began keeping tabs on my daily well-being and performance. And guess what? Just one morning coffee dropped my sleep quality by over 10% in a week and that seriously messed with my productivity. Now, I used to stick with nootropic pills for a while, but recently I've been exploring coffee substitutes like mushroom drinks. Now, around two weeks ago, I decided to ditch coffee completely for a two-week trial, but I needed a substitute. Luckily, Mudwater stepped up, sending me a package and sponsoring this video. Now, if you're new to Mudwater, this is a mushroom and adaptogenic drink with around 14 ingredients. It's got cool stuff like functional mushrooms, lance mane, uh, cordyceps, chaga reishi, cacao, cinnamon, turmeric, masala chai that contains a tiny bit of natural caffeine and so on. Now, mud water was designed as a coffee alternative. You prepare it much like coffee and it gives you similar vibes, minus the usual downsides. Now, if you want to try it, hit the link below for 20 bucks off the mud water starter kit, along with a free frother, a total value of $60. Anyway, when I got the package, there were two main things I was worried about, the taste and the effects. Let's start with the taste. Now, I followed the brand's prep instructions for mud water. A spoonful went into my favorite cup, some hot water poured over it, and I was ready to dive in. Okay, so this is the second time I'm trying mud water. I tried a couple of months ago, but let's see, um, yeah, if they change the taste or smell or anything. Yeah, still smells the same, a bit spicy, I would say. We have those, I'm, I can smell, I can smell cinnamon for sure. T turmeric maybe, cacao for sure, and there's something else. We have um, in Europe we have um, special Christmas cookies uh, that kind of smell the same. They're very delicious though. Mhm. Mm yeah. Um, still tastes kind of kind of the same as the last time. So it's um, it's not bad, uh, but it's not delicious either. Uh, it's something you need to get used to. It's very, it's a bit spicy. Uh, it's uh, kind of earthy. Uh, it has a natural flavor. Uh, there are no sweeteners in, which I really, really love. But it's not, it's not very sweet, or uh, it's not bitter. Yeah, very earthy. I think that's how I would describe it. Yeah, it's definitely something you need to get used to. That's for sure. But. Yeah, so far so good. Now after a few days, I gave oat milk a shot in my drink and wow, what a taste upgrade. Can I see myself sipping this daily? Yeah, absolutely. But is it everyone's cup of tea? I'm not so sure. By the way, are you on the lookout for the best nootropics to boost your brain performance but don't know where to start? Take a look at our free nootropics quiz, there's a link below in the description, to get personalized recommendations that will be the perfect choice for you. Now onto the effects. So mushroom drinks are meant to stand in for your morning coffee. 
they're supposed to give you a bit of a boost, minus the coffee's usual drawbacks. Now, mud water, for example, contains about 30 to 35 milligrams of caffeine, just a fraction of what you'd find in a regular coffee. But does it actually give you a kick? Well, let's find out. So it's been about two hours since I drank mud water, the whole cup, and um, yeah, so far I feel really good. I'm very focused, I'm slightly more energized as before, uh, but I kind of got into this flow, creative flow. I'm not feeling really anxious or nervous like with coffee, and uh, yeah, that's obviously a good thing. Now it seems like, after a few days of drinking mud water, it seems like um, you get more focused, um, you do get a mild energy push, but if you need this really strong kick, I don't think you're gonna get it, I don't get it at least. Uh, it wasn't designed to, to, to do that, but yeah, just saying, uh, saying it. But yeah, if you wanna get into the flow, yeah, that will, mud water seems to definitely help with that. Now, the effects seem to last for about two to three hours, give or take, but there is a big catch here. Now, after about 10 days of sipping on mud water, something cool happened. I got even more focused and my mood improved. Mornings became more positive and guess what? I didn't need an extra boost from coffee. And I think there is the magic of these coffee alternatives. The longer you drink them, the better you feel. But guess what? Mushroom drinks do have a problem. And we'll get to that soon, but first let's explore what makes this mushroom drink so potent. Now, I won't dive into every single thing in mud water, but there are basically three types of ingredients in the mix. First, there is the star, functional mushrooms. These are like cognition supporting champs. They do loads, but mainly they kick stress out, back up your immunity, and give your brain a thumbs up. Next, cacao and chai step in. Chai brings that quick kick thanks to the caffeine, while cacao is all about making it taste better. And lastly, we've got the extracts like cinnamon and turmeric. They've got possible health pluses, but I think they're mostly in uh, for the flavor party. Now back to the problem with mushroom drinks. Is the dosage of mushrooms big enough for the effects? Now many low quality mushroom drinks contain a few mushrooms, but the dosages are very low. So the effects you feel mainly come from the caffeine. Now the effects are of course weaker than those of a cup of coffee, but also the side effects are weaker. So people may think, wow, the mushrooms work, but they really don't because the dosage of mushrooms are too low. When it comes to mud water, the dosages of mushrooms are great for long-term use. There are about half a gram of lion's mane, chaga, cordyceps, and reishi in a daily dosage, which is a safe spot for people who are going to drink this for a long time. Now, having said this, is mud water a real coffee replacement? Now, let's check out the pros and cons of it. First, the pros. It definitely improves productivity and, yeah, gets you in the flow. It provides multiple long-term benefits. It doesn't cause stress or anxiety like high caffeine from coffee does. It contains less caffeine than coffee, obviously. And it's cheaper than a cup of Starbucks coffee. Now, how about the cons? Well, you need to get used to the taste. The effect may be too weak for some, and it's more expensive than making a coffee at home. So before I share my final verdict with you, if you wanna buy mud water, there's a link below and you'll get a special discount as I mentioned before. So after about two weeks, I switched back to coffee for just one day and I knew right away why I don't like coffee. I got a boost, but in about 30 minutes or so, I immediately got nervous and way more anxious than ever during my 14 day test. And that's why I became such a big fan of mushroom drinks. They basically provide more benefits than coffee and don't cause any adverse side effects. And if you get used to the taste, you're in for a big surprise on how well you're going to feel. And that is why I recommend mud water. Now in one of the next videos, I'll be comparing my favorite mushroom drinks on the market. So subscribe below to get tuned. And until then, watch my video up here with the best entropic stacks on the market. Have a great day, guys. See you soon.